Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of Learn Loadrunner series. In this video, we are going to see about debugging techniques. So in this, uh, uh, there are two videos I'm going to create uh, for debugging. So the first video will cover uh, how to execute your step, uh, how to execute your script, uh, how to compile and how to execute uh, step by step. And in next video, I'm going to cover about breaking point. So debugging is a process where every developer must follow. Similarly, it will uh, uh, applicable for the testers as well. So debugging will help you to identify any errors in your script and it will gain the uh, it will help you to gain the confidence of your script. It will help you to create a robust script. Uh, without debugging, uh, if you go directly for your execution, definitely you will see a lot of uh, issues and uh, those, those runs will be invalid. So the, my first tip is uh, in debugging is always compile your script before you start executing the actual uh, test. In the performance center so compilation will help you to identify any syntax errors or any uh, illegal type of uh, errors it will get displayed in the compilation uh, window so right now my script has uh, no errors so in the output pane so there is an option compilation the drop down if you click on compilation drop down you will see the compilation logs so right now there is no errors in my script so what i'm going to do is i'm going to inject a, a an error by declaring the character s is equal to hello so definitely this will fail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on shift plus f5 so this is the shortcut key for the compilation and in the output pane under the compilation drop down you can see the error messages in the red color uh, uh, font color red, red font color so likewise you must compile your script then you go for the execution so this is the uh, the first tip i'm going to uh, uh, share with you uh, make it as a practice definitely uh, it will help you to uh, resolve the errors ahead of the actual execution now let us uh, compile again so that all the uh, errors will vanish and it's back to no errors detected and assume that you have a script of 10,000 lines of code and uh, in the 8,000 line uh, your script started failing so it is not possible uh, to identify the issue whenever you keep executing uh, by pressing the F5 key so it is a cumbersome process so that is why you need to go step by step so going step by step will help you to identify the uh, issue at which line your script has the actual issue so that you can uh, see the response data or uh, response headers or you can see the request headers or uh, 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 request post data or get data whatever it is so it will help you to uh, get to know what uh, stuff you are sending it to the server so to execute run step by step you have to go to replay menu and click on run step by step or alternatively you can press f10 key and also you can click on this icon uh, run step by step uh, icon in the toolbar so whenever you click on run step by step what will happen is it will go to vuser init and if there is any lines it will uh, uh, go to the uh, go to the particular line and then it will highlight in the yellow color like this so right now your my script has been uh, paused because i pressed f10 key so it is uh, waiting for my input so that it can proceed further so here i have three options one is i can uh, go to the next step or uh, i can go to uh, i can execute the script uh, continuously or i can stop the script so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on run step by step so if i click on run step by step it will go to the next action and then it will highlight the request number one so if i keep pressing the f10 key it will execute this step and then it will go to the next request so it will keeps going till 
the uh, uh, all the action has been executed and once the all the action actions has been executed then it will uh, display the uh, uh, the uh, view uh, the run results so this will help you to execute your script step by step so that you can identify any issues or you can identify which line of code the uh, code is throwing the error so definitely you have to start using the compile then start with step by step so this will help you to identify the uh, issues ahead i mean it will help you in the debugging uh, process okay so i hope this video is pretty useful in the next video we are going to see about uh, breaking points how it will be uh, useful to remove your errors and also it will uh, how, you, uh, how you can improve your productivity by inserting the breaking point and uh, uh, also we are going to see how to use the breaking point in the multiple iterations okay so stay tuned uh, if you have time please do go to my next video otherwise uh, thanks for listening have a great day Thank you.